Okay, let's go. Okay, ready? Yep. Okay, so to standardize these, there's a few things that we need to do just immediately in the settings. We're gonna switch over and, and create accounts. Go over to the account, standardize docs, install stuff, boom. When you get this, it's going to have uh, a teacher account. If you go to Apple System Preferences, come close to me. Apple System Preferences, that is going to bring you into the actual system preferences. Right here, it might start in iCloud. Don't worry about that. My iCloud account is connected to everything. If you hit the back button or if it's just here, the first thing that we need to do is make sure that the mouse, uh, I'm sorry, uh, go to users and groups, hit the unlock button. The username is teacher. I'm going to give you the password. I'm not gonna say it on the video. And unlock the user settings. From user settings, we have our teacher admin account, but we need to make a student one so students can kind of access things, but they don't have admin privileges. Here, you can already see student, uh, the student account is, is made, but the plus sign right here is going to add account, new account, it's a standard account, its name is student, and the, it says it, uh, it's already there. This is student, this is student. There's no password. So all you need to do is hit enter. It's gonna say, do you want to not have a password? That's bad, typically it is, but it's just a student account. Um, we do that because on the, on the guest user, we unclick on uh, allow. So we're not going to allow for the guest. A guest account, when you sign in, it will allow you to do everything, but when you sign out, it deletes everything. We want an account that you can access that doesn't have admin privileges and that you can use, but it won't delete all of your stuff. So once you do that, you can actually go to uh, log out of teacher and log in to student. And then the student one, the teacher one is there, but we don't actually use the account, so you don't have to standardize the doc and everything. The actual student account, when you log in, you're gonna delete everything off the dock so nothing is there. You will, however, bring in uh, the downloads. If you go to finders, that, that little smiley face, you bring in the downloads, and you right, if you right click, it's just display as, it's kind of like my OCD, but um, it will display as a folder rather than like a, a accordion a view. And you're also gonna bring in applications and you're gonna drag that right next to the trash as well. So those two things are just kind of standard on your desk. Uh, you don't need Safari, you can drag off Safari, but if you go to Finder and Applications, that's where, you're, that's where Safari is. In Safari, we're going to download uh, Firefox. The reason why we use Firefox is not Chrome. You might like Chrome better, but for the management purposes, when people have Chrome in my classes or in other classes, they log into Chrome and then they don't log out of Chrome and then it syncs all of their stuff and it just becomes a nightmare. So when we download Firefox, it's just easier to download Firefox, install Firefox. If you go to downloads, the DMG, you double click. It's already installed on this, so I'm just showing you how to, to do that. It will save to the downloads. You double click the DMG. A DMG is a dot is like a dot exe file on a PC. If you're if you're not familiar with Mac, it's just a, it's just a um, it's the, uh, operating file, and then you drag it into applications. So it's here. This will go into the dock as well, right here, and other part is that we need the, the actual um, preferences for Firefox. So a lot, of, a lot of times when the students come in, they are using it, the, the history is kind of fine, but uh, if they log into an account, if you log into your Gmail, it doesn't log you out. We need to actually go into, this is just saying, are you sure you wanna open a security thing? Um, you just gotta make sure that it deletes uh, in, in Firefox preferences. You can go into the preference, the, the kind of history preferences, 
and here, privacy and security. Uh, you don't want it to, a to ask to save login passwords. We don't want to. And for Firefox history, never remember history. It's gonna restart. But that, it's, it's kind of annoying for people that use the computers over and over, but for different classes, like people will sign in, there'll be like an Edpuzzle account, you'll take the Edpuzzle and you screwed yourself because you did somebody else's Edpuzzle because they were signed in. So it just makes life easier. Um, and you also can set this as a default browser um, and use Firefox. So we have Firefox here, we have our applications and downloads. Um, now, if we go to system preferences, there is uh, in here uh, sharing. You can click these, so there's screen sharing, file sharing. File sharing is the most important one. So if you if you click, whoop, you have to unlock and then click. Uh, file sharing is the most important one here. Um, we really never use these remote or anything. So, um, internet sharing, whatever. So, but the important part of this is that there's going to be a number on the back of the computer, M200 or whatever. This then becomes whatever the, the number on the back is NHS, whoop, NHS all uppercase tech, uppercase dash M200, or whatever the number is, is physically written on the back of the computer. That way, we're gonna have a, we have a computer information chart, it's just an Excel sheet that has all of the serials and the, and the graphics cards and the, and the uh, motherboard information, all of that, so we can just look at this. And the other part is when you actually are connected to like the network that storage or, st or stuff, or you need to access a computer, uh, this will network the computer to the entire local area network in the school. So name that, and it should, if you just click away, it should automatically um, uh, be good on that. And then the only folder, you can right click create folder, there's a folder on the desktop that's called NHS Technology Local. And that folder right there is, uh, if you've taken the pro like a programming class or any of my classes or anything, there's class folders inside of there and that's kind of like where everything lives. It's because we're gonna right click, get info, and lock the desktop so people you don't you just don't have chaos on the desktop and everything's kind of organized everything should be going into class folders inside of this local but we, we can just leave it here for for now um the last thing so we're good on that we're going to eventually put adobe the adobe products and stuff um installed but this is kind of like a a good baseline um the only other thing I'm thinking of, we have the accounts, system preferences. Um, we got the, we renamed it. I think, I think that's it. If you have a, a like a white mouse like this, what you'll have to do is go to finder, system preferences, mouse, and add this as a secondary click. Why I don't know why they have it, I don't know. Um, so there's the primary left click, but right click is called secondary, and you change it right here so you can actually left click stuff. After everything's all set uh, and done, the very last thing you're gonna do, this is High Sierra. This is like, I don't know, five years ago, operating system. Um, the operating system that you're going to use, now when you do this, for some funky reason, you need to do this in Safari because it's going to open an applica in the applications thing on Mac. You're going to download Catalina. We're at Catalina right now because uh, Monterey is the newest operating system. It, it slowed everything to a crawl. So we're gonna kind of upgrade, but not like go all the way. If you type in download Catalina, C-A-T-A-L-I-N-A, 
the support.apple.com is the first thing. If you scroll down a little bit, but it's gonna say use Safari to download this. You have to use Safari. It will not work in Chrome or Firefox. You click uh, OS, Mac OS Catalina. It's going to open the Apple Store. Come out. If it doesn't, you can kind of open the Apple Store have this here if you need to prompt it so the Apple Store is now open uh, download Catalina it should take you to the store the other part is you can't you can't just search it here for some reason you need to actually click this link that's not working come on I'll eventually figure out how to, to make this work. But once you do this, you download Catalina and that will, it will, it will get to the download and then you install Catalina. Then we're good. Sounds like a lot, but like you can have, like I usually do them all, like I'll just go down the line and just like rip all of them at the same time. Use you multitask, like we'll have like, uh, we can get a whole bunch of set up at once um, and, and do everything uh, super fast. Uh, and then anything, any of the programming things or if that, you, that you want. I might have a, um, the NHS tech background as well that uh, will we'll set before, and you have to do that before you lock the desktop, you have to do that. But I'll have that too. Um, yeah, it's, can't do it today obviously, but um, uh, Monday we could kind of take a go at it. The other part is that I might even have it so all we'll take, we'll take one of these, like two or three of these each put them up and we'll just start, we'll take these computers down over here, put them up, get them to a point where we can kind of update them and wherever we're at, we'll take them back down, put them over here, do round two. So we'll probably take, I don't know, three or four days, but we should be good. Cool. Um, any questions? Yeah, we're good. Thanks.